Okay, welcome to Bishop Conaby, Our Lady of Loretto's Open House 2020. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Miss Poe, and on behalf of the English department, I would like to just welcome you. Um, we feel very blessed that you have chosen to look at Bishop Conaby, Our Lady of Loretto, for uh, your future or your daughter's future. So thank you for showing up today. Um, again, my name is Ms. Poe, and I will be facilitating your tour through our English department today. Um, so uh, first, I would like to, <clears throat> let me get my screen ready, introduce you to a few of my fellow English teachers, and they will give you a sort of overview of what you can expect in your English courses here at Bishop Conaty Our Lady of Loretto. Hi everyone, welcome to Bishop Conaty Our Lady of Loretto English Department. My name is Ms. Dennison and that is me on the screen in Bitmoji form. And I teach English 9 and Honors English 10, but today I'm going to be talking to you about our English 9 program and our freshman English program overall. So just a little bit about me. I got my bachelor's in English literature from USC and I have loved reading and writing ever since I was as small as 12, I knew I wanted to be an English teacher. I'm also the product of an all-girls Catholic education, so if you ever have any questions about it, you can feel free to send me an email. I cannot recommend the experience more. Mainly in English 9, we focus on literary analysis and academic writing. Those are the main skills that we focus on so that our students can succeed later on in high school and in college. We do this by reading complex texts and talking about them in class. So, for example, we just finished reading The Odyssey with my English 9 class. And so in class leading up to finals, we are spending time preparing for a timed writing assignment in which they will argue in an hour and a half whether or not they think Odysseus is a true hero. And leading up to that experience, they're also working on a long-term visual project in which they create a map that visually represents Odysseus's journey from Troy to Ithaca. So, as you can tell, there's a wide range of skills that we practice. English 9 is very much building the foundation for everything they're going to journey into in high school, and I'm very excited. I hope that I get to teach your daughter, and I hope that I get to read all of these great works with them. Okay, I want to thank Ms. Dennison, and now I'm going to introduce you to Ms. Corso. So someone had mentioned that maybe they didn't see the screen, so let me know in the chat box if, if this is not being shared with you. Hello, I am Ms. Corso, and I'm here today to tell you about English 10, English 10 Honors, and English 11. Currently, by the way, I am teaching English 10 and English 11. In English 10, which is our regular English 10 college prep class, we build on our students' comprehension and analytical skills. Students read a variety of fiction and nonfiction and focus on characterization, plot structure, a view of other literary and poetic devices, and author's purpose. Works of literature specific to this grade level include Norse mythology, uh, which feature such characters as Thor, Odin, Loki, um, include also, uh, we include Shakespeare's Julius Caesar, Greek tragedy, and your students will also be reading the novel Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. For composition, we use these and other literary works as springboards to teach students how to structure the multi-paragraph essay with textual and other evidence to support a thesis statement. Students will add to their research skills 
by conducting small research projects. We include vocabulary, grammar, and some public speaking to improve your students' reading, writing, and speaking skills. Now, English 10 Honors is really a pre-AP class where students cover everything covered in English 10 College Prep, but English 10 Pre-AP has the added feature of preparing them for in-depth analysis of fiction and non-fiction works with an emphasis on the author's techniques and purpose. In English 10 <clears throat> Pre-AP, students read much more and write much, much more to prepare for the rigors of AP language and literature. Now let's talk about English 11. English 11 is a survey of American literature. Students read and learn about American writers. Um, they read their stories, their poetry. Uh, we will be reading uh, at least one novel and of course nonfiction. English 11 improves students' reading comprehension and analytical skills. Students focus on characterization, plot structure, author's technique, multiple literary devices, and we begin at this point to really focus on how particular devices used in a story, play, or poem lead directly to the author's theme. Uh, another feature of English 11 is that this is the year that students will write their first full-length research paper, employing the research writing skills they practice in English 9 and 10. In English, uh, English 11, we also emphasize grammar, sentence structure, and vocabulary to shape students into more efficient readers and writers. So these are our English 10, English 10 Honors, which is pre-AP, and English 11 college prep classes. Uh, we hope to see your student here at Bishop Connedy, Our Lady of Loretto High School, because we know that your student will learn a great deal as well as have a lot of fun. Thank you. All right, thank you, Ms. Corso. And now, I would like to introduce you to Ms. Navarro. Hello everyone. My name is Ms. Navarro and welcome to Bishop Connie's Open House. Thank you so much for logging in today, especially with everything that is happening right now. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Now, before we get started talking about the class, I would like to tell you a little bit about myself since I am one of the people your daughter will be spending a majority of their time with. Now, first, I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. For my undergrad, I went to Loyola Marymount University, where I received my Bachelor of Arts degree in both English and in political science. I loved LMU so much that I returned for a second time and received my master's degree in education with a concentration in secondary ed. Now, when I decided to go into teaching, I wanted to be a part of the process that would help young adults be prepared for the outside world. It was through my master's program that was placed here at Bishop Quantity, and the news could have been more exciting for me, for I too come from an all-girls Catholic, all Catholic school background. I really do believe in the benefits of a Catholic, all-girls Catholic school education. I believe that through this, we really do foster strong, independent, and critical thinkers. Now, this will be my fourth year here at Bishop Quantity, Our Lady of Loretto. I currently teach both ninth and 12th grade English. In addition to being an English teacher here, I am also the activities director. As the activities director, I moderate our student government who helps prepare events here on campus. And I also oversee all the other organizations that we have on campus as well. Now, if there is something that your daughter is interested in and she would like to create an organization of her own, I would be the person that she would contact. Now, going into English 12, British literature. Now, since it is the, our 
goals are this year to make your daughters discerning readers and to redefine their critical thinking and rhetoric through a multiple multitude of writing styles. Since it is their senior year, our first priority always is to give the girls the necessary tools needed to tackle on their personal statements. Then through the careful study of various literary genres, such as poetry, prose, essay, drama, the students are able to re-refine their skills of critical thinking and rhetoric through thought-provoking personal response writing, essay writing, and research assignments. Together as a class, we love to analyze literature through the author's purpose, the historical, cultural, social, and economic influences of that time period, the figurative language and literary devices used in the content, the views of other literary critics, and the impact the work has had. Now here at Bishop, our goal is to make sure that your daughter is not only prepared for their last year of high school, but for their first year in the college setting. We want them to feel confident to take on whatever task they have in front of them. Now, thank you all for listening to my presentation. I hope this gave you a little bit of an insight of what we do here at Bishop Quantity. I hope to see you and your family here um, for our upcoming school year. And as always, thank you, goodbye, and stay safe. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you. Okay. I want to thank Ms. Nassau Hello, everyone. For that. My name is Ms. Nassau and that leaves me. My name is Miss Poe again, and this is um, I those AP classes that all of my colleagues were talking about that we are preparing many of our students for. Um, I have had the privilege and the pleasure of teaching them the past five years. Um, every summer I get recertified either in AP language or AP literature. And last summer I was an AP reader, which means I was part of the national scoring um, teachers for the AP language and composition test. Um, I'm a mom, I have two children, and both of my children attend Catholic schools in the Los Angeles area, so I too am a believer in Catholic education. AP Language and Composition this year is um, organized uh, with the theme, The American Dream. These are some of the texts that we are reading this year. Um, it is organized also around big ideas, the rhetorical situation, finding claims and evidence to make arguments, using reasoning and organization to make your arguments clear and persuasive and style. AP literature and composition is, uh, we start with um, Antigone. We start with Greek drama and we read several uh, early British texts and British literature. We read Hamlet. Right now we're reading Frankenstein. And then second semester, we read some more contemporary and American authors, such as uh, Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston and All the Pretty Horses by Cormac McCarthy. The ideas that AP literature is organized around are characters, setting, structure, and narration. And in particular, we're looking to see how writers use these elements to make meaning. And from that, what kinds of interpretations do we as writers uh, write about in, in talking about these great works of literature? Uh, one of the things that I think um, I'm always reminded of is the simplest question, why do we read stories? And so before you go today, I just wanted to leave you with one of my favorite quotes by a California writer, John Steinbeck. Um, he says, a child may ask, what is the world's story about? And a grown man or woman may wonder, what way will the world go? How does it end? And while we're at it, what's the story about? John Steinbeck answers, I believe there is one story in the world and only one that has frightened and inspired us. Humans are caught in their lives, in their thoughts, in their hungers and ambitions, in their avarice and cruelty, and in their kindness and generosity too, in a net of good and evil. There is no other story. A man, after he has brushed off the dust and chips of his life, will have only left the hard, clean questions. Was it good or was it evil? Have I done well or ill? And really, I think that's the heart of what we get to in the English department here, looking at stories from all different time periods, from all different kinds of people, 
trying to figure out what are we doing here? And in the end, have we done well or have we done ill? Uh, again, I want to say thank you so much for choosing Bishop Conady, um, Our Lady of Loretto, to uh, take a tour with us today. And I really do hope to see you next summer and next school year. Uh, we, we take a lot of pride in um, being a part of a small part, but hopefully a very important part of your future, uh, the journey on the way to your future. And we hope that we can instill in you some of these stories and to let you know that you have a story inside you as well. And uh, we hope very much that we get to be a part of that story with you. So thank you again for coming to Bishop Conady. Uh, now it is time for you to uh, log out of this link. And again, if you have any questions about Bishop Conady, please feel free to reach out to any one of us that you met today in the English department. We'd love to talk to you if we don't see you soon. And now you can go ahead and click one of the links to the clubs that you want to check out. Okay, so thank you again. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon. Bye, Sophia. Thank you.